Welcome back to another episode of Emergency Response Liberty County, boys and girls. This is an idea that's lived in the back of my mind for quite some time now, and I even think I've done a similar video a few months ago. But thank you to Story from the Discord server for bringing it back from memory and telling me to make a video about the top 10 features likely to come to ERLC this year. Without further delay, this is going to be a quick one for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into it. When I say features, I feel like that's a word that includes a lot of things, okay? So not just features, but maybe also updates, maybe even improvements to some of the things that we already see. So I hope you guys get the gist. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna begin the list in no particular order, but I will say that number one, two, and three are the things that I strongly believe are gonna be coming sometime this year to ERLC. So starting off with number 10, updated vehicles. This is a trend that we saw all of last year for the most part. Almost every single update at the beginning of the year brought with it a new updated vehicle or a completely new vehicle to Liberty County. For that reason alone, I speculate that this year will be no different. We've already started seeing that with small subtle improvements to the police vehicles, but we also got the new sporty exotic vehicle that resembles the Ford GT. This is a feature with a proven history and something that I believe we're going to keep seeing all throughout 2022. Coming in at number 9 is City Enrichment. This is also something we saw quite a bit of in 2021. As you guys might recall, the city started off being quite bland and slowly but surely we started seeing improvements. Just last year alone, we saw multiple humongous improvements to the city to include the hospital, the police department, the post office, the bank, the taxi and limo station, the new station, and I'm sure I'm forgetting one or two. This to me shows that there's a clear focus in bettering the city center, and this is something that I also think we're going to continue to see throughout 2022. Whether this comes in the form of maybe a library, maybe a city hall, a grocery store, or maybe even just another restaurant, believe me when I tell you that we're going to continue to see more development in the city center. Coming in at number 8 is a little bit of an unrealistic one that I know I probably mention every single time I make a video like this, but Jailbreak and Grand Theft Auto. There is an opportunity here, an opportunity that I think is being missed. I don't know if that's because the details are being worked out or maybe the interface is being worked out for both the civilian team and the law enforcement team, but I think we all know that the ability to Jailbreak or do Grand Theft Auto would take this game to a completely different level. I've said this before about a few different updates and every single time they come out, it's like a new wave of players come join ERLC. So I won't talk too much about number eight, which is Jailbreak and Grand Theft Auto, because this is a good segue into my next point, which is more criminal opportunities. Something else with a little bit of record, criminal opportunities are always being improved upon. We obviously saw the introduction of mafias and the bank robbery, and then several months ago, we also received the scanner, which obviously allows criminals to detect when a police officer is nearby or in the general vicinity. At the time of me making this, I can't really envision what this will look like, but I do think there's going to be more criminal opportunities coming to ERLC. The trade-off here is that with more criminal opportunities will come more limitations. This means that we will likely be wanted for a longer period of time. This also means that it will probably be easier for police officers to catch you, and it might even mean that the way we break into houses, steal money from the ATM, or break into the jewelry cases might change itself. Even if we don't get criminal opportunities, just to tie my 8th point with my 7th point, I think there's going to be a small revamp to the way we conduct robberies in the ERLC. Coming in at number six is better support for civilian jobs. You've all heard me moan and complain about the fact that civilian jobs aren't really interactive and it's still something that kind of bothers me. But we've already gotten a small glimpse of this when we talk about the restaurant. Let's quickly take a look at the way the three guys restaurant operates right now. A worker can actually go in, pull out a tray, serve a burger, some fries and a drink, and then occasionally the end user, meaning the player on the other end, might actually benefit from having that drink, having those fries, or even that burger in the form of a small boost. With that understood, I think there's going to be a little bit more development to the doctor slash nurse job and maybe even the farmer job. We might also see improvements for the news reporter job. Another job that I really think will benefit from this is a gas tanker driver job. Keep this in mind in the future when we do see it roll out in ERLC. And speaking of better support for civilian jobs, I also think we're going to see convenience store add-ons. And let me remind you that the burger, the fries, and 
a drink can occasionally give a player on the other end a boost. So think about a time when you walk into the convenience store, pick up, I don't know, maybe a drink or a snack, and of course that's going to cost you some kind of money, but whether it does or not, that item will also momentarily give you a small boost. This is also an opportunity that I've been talking about for quite some time, and I'm glad to see that they're implementing the idea, even if for right now it's only at the Three Guys restaurant. Okay, so very quickly moving into number four, overall I think we're going to see a user interface revamp. I don't know if this happened last year in 2021, or maybe I'm thinking of 2020, but remember when they changed the layout for the police officers and the way we interacted with some of the menus? That was 2021, wasn't it, during the summer update? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. But we're gonna see more of this. I personally hope that we see some improvements to the way the scanner works, to the way the robberies work, and the way sometimes our vision as a player can be obstructed by some of the menus or some of the warnings that we receive on screen. So it may not be big, it may not be major, it may not even be an update by itself, it may be an update that comes with another major update, but I do believe we're gonna see a user interface revamp sometime this year. So now for my top three things that I'm pretty darn confident are gonna be coming to ERLC sometime this year. Number three, a housing revamp. For the longest time, not only have we had the ability to rent a house, but this is also the feature in Emergency Response Liberty County, for the most part, that has remained untouched. Think about it for a second. When was the last time we saw any kind of housing revamp? Yeah, I know, it's been a while. And I don't know if it's because there's nothing left to do or because we've run out of ideas, but there's a little bit of room here. And I'm not saying turn it into Bloxburg or anything like that, but a little bit more customization and user engagement can be added to the actual housing in Liberty County. I have reason to suspect that this is something that is slowly but surely being worked on behind the scenes. And I think we're all gonna be really happy when we finally see a housing revamp roll out. And number two, something that I know Know we're probably going to see an ERLC this year is a map expansion. Now, this is probably going to be met with some criticism, and I did receive a direct answer from some of the staff members several, several months ago talking about how the map was intentionally kept small, but I think this is the year we're finally going to see a true expansion. The way this is going to look is still a little bit gray to me. I don't know if this means a completely different part of the city, or maybe just making use of some of the vacant parts of the city right now, maybe even removing part of the housing track. I don't know. My mind goes all over the place when I think about a map expansion. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below as well. Ideally, the way I see this happening is basically a secondary city. Right now, we have Liberty County, and with Within Liberty County, we have River City. But what if we get a second city with a second police department and a second fire department and a second store and a second gas station? You guys see what I'm talking about? My mind goes all over the place with this. I don't know. I might be completely wrong. So even if we don't see a full blown map expansion like that, trust me when I tell you that we're going to see better use of the map overall sometime in 2022. Last but not least, coming in at number one, something that I'm almost willing to put bets on is vehicle customization. This is something that I predicted many, many months ago, maybe even years ago, when I told you guys that we would have the ability to further customize our vehicles. This is now possible in the law enforcement team, and as I keep saying, mark my words, it is not long before we see this at the civilian level. It's obviously not gonna be as in-depth or thorough as it is for the law enforcement teams, but for the civilian teams, it might be something as simple as changing out your tires, changing out your wheels, maybe changing out the color of your glass, maybe adding or removing antennas, maybe adding or removing auxiliary lights, especially for some of the bigger vehicles like the off-road vehicles and the trucks. So I'm not sure, but I do believe more vehicle customization is going to be coming to Emergency Response Liberty County to the civilian team. Well, that does it, you guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I don't wanna make this too long, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know which ones you're holding out for and which ones you really do think are gonna be coming to Liberty County this year. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, long live the Zannies.